A little drop of poison. Happy whatever day of the week it is for you, wherever you are. Uh, it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning where I'm at, which means it's next Thursday in Australia, and I think it's 9 o'clock somewhere in Colorado. I give a shout out to the great state of Colorado. I've never been. If you're from Colorado, that'll make you want to like the video. If you're not from Colorado and you dislike Colorado, make sure to like the video. Uh, this is Trample Damage. I don't know if I said that already. It's early. I'm tired. I wanted to go through today a couple of things on practice mode. Actually, one thing on practice mode, one thing on single player mode. I want to take a look at the Town Hall 8 Whirl Power Attack to not necessarily criticize, but to recommend some modifications to how the poison spell is used. Now, this attack, they offer to open up by having us throw a bunch of earthquake spells to break open this Town Hall 8 that's conveniently laid out so that Valkyries can destroy it super easily, unlike most Town Hall 8 layouts that are good for war, but we'll go with it. They tell us to deploy a hog rider to lure out the Kalan Castle troops, which happens to be a five pack of balloons. And we have a conveniently placed builder hut over here where an archer is able to get the balloons to come over. Now the important thing about this is it's the same exact thing with a heal spell. You actually want to deploy a spell where troops are going to be, whether that's enemy clan castle troops coming into the poison spell or your troops going into a heal spell. So here they've got it where the troops are standing still. We've The archer is dead and now they're telling us throw the poison spell down. And as you throw the poison spell down, they all, of course, run away. This isn't like way back in the day, those of you that are higher level town halls or have been playing for a long time, where you could just lure the barbarian king and archer queen and clan castle troops into the corner and they'd sit there patiently while the poison spell kills them. So they want us to deploy a golem and then the golem's gonna run away and they want us to deploy a wizard. I'm gonna throw a wizard over here and they want me to deploy more wizards, but I'm not going to because they're telling us to deploy all of our wizards right there and we didn't even need to deploy that golem. So that balloon managed to get away. I'm gonna go ahead and send in the rest of the troops and then end the battle. Uh, let me see, exit tutorial. Yes, without extra help. So uh, I'm not gonna bother blowing the wall open. You can see from the previous attack where, well, actually this one doesn't let you see it. I'm, I'm stupid, plan ahead, trample damage. So there's a nice circular, I'm waving my finger around the phone and envision a large circle around the clan castle. But if you were to drop a giant somewhere right over here, you'd be able to still trigger the clan castle troops. So we'll still do what they wanted. We'll send the hog rider in. But this time, instead of waiting until the balloons get over to where this archer is in order to deploy the poison spell, we're going to take advantage of the fact that while a troop is on the battlefield, the clan castle, enemy clan castle troops are going to head straight for that troop. And if you have them head straight into the outside of a poison spell, on their way through to the other side of a poison spell, even as they're on their way out, lo and behold, all the balloons are dead. We didn't have to dump our golem ahead of time. We didn't have to do any kind of tricky planning. With the right level poison spell, with troops that are slowed down by the poison spell, they can be dead on their way out of the poison spell. When you actually dump a poison spell on top of where troops are at and they start to run, it's harder to control them. So, ta-da! Super easy explanation of how that poison is going to wind up working. And I haven't actually done this for a while, but I remember when I killed... Let me see if my spells are ready spells. Yes, I made some poison spells. The first time I destroyed the dragon's lair, I went ahead and dumped a bunch of barbarians in here to trigger a ton of skeletons, including this big golden dragon, that beautiful destructive force. And now what we're going to do is actually take down all this stuff over here with a similar methodology. We've got all these skeletons coming over here. And I'm just going to throw a few troops over here to keep baiting the skeletons in. And then I'm going to throw a few... I'm going to drop four poison spells on this bad boy. And I just have a couple of archers sitting around here. And that guy's going to keep going around the circle trying to get to these archers. And just for fun, we'll freeze them. Just to watch them slowly start getting melted away. Now, as those poison spells ramp up, you'll see the hit points on that dragon start to go down. And, oh, well, he didn't go down anywhere near as much as I thought he was going to. 
Okay, well, I forgot this thing has like 45,000 hit points. But a couple of wizards around there will make short work of him. Uh, so, f fun trick there for how to kill the giant golden dragon with nothing more than a dozen wizards and five poison spells all at once. That Okay, none of the troops in the game actually have that many uh, poison spells. None of the troops in the game actually have that many hit points. So, we're just going to see if... And spam some giants and some wizards and some people in here and manage to wind up taking this down. I think there's another eagle artillery over here. We'll just wind up having all my wall breakers die right there. Um, put my barbarian king in here as well. See if he can wind up helping out. And I'm guessing that whatever's going on on the other side of the base is not pretty. Oh, well, some of the giants are still alive. Hey, look at that. Super easy way to wind up destroying a bunch of archers on the outside. Well, that was wildly entertaining, but nonetheless, we can just jump out of here with our heads hung low. Two stars, that's all I was going for. Got the loot anyway. That's practice attack, I didn't need that army anyway. Anyway, so poison spell, place a poison spell where the troops are going to be, not where the troops are. Uh, we'll wind up doing some other examples of some detailed poison spells in the future. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't watch this video if you're trying to figure out how to kill that golden dragon and get three stars with a Dark Elixir raiding army at Town Hall 12. But like the video, tell your friends and family, subscribe, comment down below, let me know that you think I'm a wonderful human being with a, a wonderful announcer voice that's incredibly dynamic. Uh, we're probably going to have some guests on the show at some point as soon as I get a few million subscribers and we're super famous We'll wind up having a whole bunch of other people come and chat with us uh, in the meantime Continue enjoying my videos and I'll keep trying to crank out some hopefully uh, Informative and mildly entertaining content have a going trample damage out